Okay, so this presentation is on the cheapest link algorithm. This is the last of our algorithms for finding an efficient Hamilton circuit to travel uh, a complete graph. And we see that it goes through the steps over here where it says pick the edge with the smallest weight first. And as we go through this, we'll keep choosing the edge with the smallest weight as we go through the graph. Um, with the two things that we must keep in mind is we cannot close the circuit too early. That means we must visit all of the cities before we go back home and we cannot have any closed uh, routes in there. And the second is you cannot have more than two edges coming out of a vertex. So just to give a brief example here, if I had a complete graph on four vertices, let's call it A, B, C, D. I need to travel, if A is my home, I need to travel to all of the vertices and come back home in a fashion like this to have a Hamilton circuit. And part B is saying we cannot have three edges coming out of a single vertex. We can only have two. You see that each of these only have two. If I had a third edge, it would be a redundant edge. So we see here that B has three edges coming out of it. We would be paying for an extra uh, plane ticket that we don't need if we have that third edge. So that's why we say you can never have more than two. Otherwise, you're wasting money or you're wasting time traveling an additional route that you do not need. So let's go through an actual example here. Find the cheapest edge. We see that seven is the cheapest number. So edge MK is going to be a part of our solution with an edge of seven. Now we look through all of the numbers and we say, what's the next smallest number? That is 18, and that goes from K to X. Great. Now we say, all right, what is the next cheapest number? And the next cheapest is 23, and that goes from X to M. But look what happens here. We closed the circuit before we even visited city A. So we have to say, nope, we can't do that. We're going to cross that out. Yes, that was the next cheapest, but it closes the loop too early. So now let's look for the next cheapest after 23. And that gives us 28, which goes from K to A. Well, if I go from K to A, now I have the other problem. I have three edges coming out of this loop. And we say that's no good because that's a waste of airfare or time going up and down that route. We need to travel through all the cities in a circuit. So we're going to undo that. And we'll cross out 28. And we say, okay, what is the next cheapest edge after 28? And we see that is from X to A. And then we have to close the circuit. We have no choice. We visit all the cities. We need this edge now from M to A. We looked that up. It's 35. And this is the solution using the cheapest link algorithm. So we'll say that we started at K, uh, X to K to M. So we'll say X, K, M, A, X. And we can add up all of the weights for these edges. And we get 92. And as we've said before with our algorithms, they may not be the optimal solution, but they are an efficient solution. It gives us an efficient way to plan the route, and we will guarantee that we do not get the most expensive route in the process. Um, we may or may not get the optimal, but it's okay not to have the cheapest route as long as we're not paying for the most expensive. All right, so here's our next example. We see that this is a K5 graph. We have five vertices where every vertex is connected to each of the others. And once again, we're using the cheapest link algorithm. So we look through the graph and find the cheapest number. That is 11. So we start by drawing X to Y. 
with an 11 on it. And then we scan the graph looking for the next cheapest. We find that that is 18 from Y to Q. And the next cheapest is 19, but that closes the circuit too early. So we don't want that. We're going to cross that out. We say what comes after 19? And the next cheapest is 21 from X to W. After 21 comes 22, but that closes the circuit too early. We say we don't want that, so we'll back that up and cross out 22. It is not a valid option. After 22 comes 24 from Y to Z, and we see that gives us a different problem. I have three edges coming out of a vertex, so we'll take that away, and we'll cross out 24 as an option. Next, we have 25, which goes from Q to Z, and we say, well, that's okay. I don't have three edges out of a point. I'm not closing a circuit early. And now we've visited all the cities. Our two endpoints must be connected. So W must be connected to Z. When I look at the graph, W to Z is 43. So now we can just look at our graph and say W, X, Y, Q, Z, W is our solution. And we can add up the weights of these edges. and we get 118. So we solved the first two problems looking at graphs and we'll solve this last problem using a table of values. So we can use the cheapest link algorithm simply by looking for the cheapest numbers just as we do with the graphs. So looking at this chart I see that 112 is the cheapest of the roots or the edges and it connects a to B, so I'll draw the edge AB and label that at 112. And now we'll look through the graph. We'll say, well, this is AB again. I already have that edge in my graph. As I continue to scan the numbers, I see the next cheapest is 127, and that is vertex C connected to vertex A. And I see that this 127 is also C to A, so it's the same edge, so I crossed it out so I don't look at that any further. And now we'll continue looking. We have vertices A, B, C, and D. We know that we need to still go to D in our graph, so we'll continue to scan. I see that 175 is A to D. Oh, I have 143 is cheaper. That's B to D. So let's take this one out. So from B to D gives me 143, and that doesn't cause any problems. I, I don't have a closed circuit. I don't have three edges out of a point, so it's a good choice. And now we have all of the cities are included. We simply have to close the circuit. So we will look up from C to D, and from C to D is 301. And now we can say our root using the cheapest link algorithm is A, B, D, C, A. And we can add up the weight of all of the edges. Six eighty three. And that's the solution to our problem. So we looked at two problems using the cheapest link graphically and one problem with the cheapest link uh, using a mileage chart. And your homework will be to complete cheapest link algorithm problems from the textbook.